A small company in Littleton, Colorado, has a unique story to tell. It's about how eight people, working from eight different locations, successfully take on the challenges of their business and the challenges of working as a virtual team. The company is Cullimore and Ring Incorporated, or CNR, started by just two people, Brent Cullimore and Steve Ring. Cullimore believes that it takes a certain kind of person to thrive in their virtual office. As individuals, uh, everyone's got a uh, certain strength and independence. We certainly have a lot of uh, independent uh, type A folks in there. It's almost a job requirement. The staff actually does meet about once a month or as needed. And, according to Cullimore, not agreeing on everything also contributes to their success. We can't be so cohesive that we're of one mind, or chances are it's the wrong mind. You know, we have to have some amount of disagreement, some amount of someone questioning. This unique company has successfully managed to perfect a big toolbox for engineers, a software toolbox that has evolved from a code called Cinda Fluent. Cinda Fluent is a really flexible code, and it's growing and changing. It gives the opportunity, or engineer the opportunity, to sit down with the software and manipulate the software in a way that most other packages can't do. The software is primarily used for heat transfer analysis, but it's so flexible that it has even been used to analyze windshield wipers, a model of a human heart, and a pig's trachea. Cinda Fluent began with funding from NASA's Johnson Space Center through the Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program. Today, the software is used at all 10 of the NASA centers as the standard tool for thermal hydraulic analysis. Through SBIR funding from NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, CNR also created software codes that were the genesis for two of the company's current front-end products, RADCAD, and thermal desktop. Cullimore feels that working with NASA gave him and Ring an opportunity to move their business forward. What NASA uh, allowed us to do through the SBIR program was to generate, uh, or at least start, on these next uh, bold ideas that turned out to be very successful. CNR now has over 4,000 customers in aerospace, automotive, electronics packaging, and more. NASA is their number one customer. General Motors actually has a global license, allowing every one of their engineers access. One third of CNR's customers are overseas, the majority in Japan, at the Japanese Space Agency, at Mitsubishi, and at Kawasaki. And in the future, the company plans to expand in the electronics packaging area and expand their overseas base. Everyone at CNR believes that one of the main reasons this eight-person company has been successful is because of their excellent customer service. It's almost a, a very strong feeling of fiduciary responsibility that these people trusted us to help them through and we really want to make sure they're happy with that. And CNR will continue to take on the challenge of making their customers happy.